The way this episode was set up today, honestly, guys, I didn't even check if my wig is lifting. If my wig is lifting, it's lifting, guys. I really don't care because this episode didn't care about me. So what am I going to care about this episode? Like, what is going on? And, guys, before I get into this review, FYI, my video is coming out late on Thursday. It's not coming on Friday. I have my work Christmas party. So that's coming out on Saturday. And then Sunday is also coming late. But we got the bad news out of the way. <laughs> don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all already know. Road to 15K. All right, guys, let me try to give you guys a little bit of energy, even though I don't have it and I know you guys don't either. So the episode starts off with the reaction to Tom picking Olivia. Um, I don't really think Will is that pressed, but I think because of the circumstances, now they've got the music. Oh, you're all right, bro. The hugging and stuff like that it just makes it a lot extra. Like, it really isn't that deep. He doesn't like her. She doesn't like him. It's quite mutual. And guys, thank you for someone that said it in my comment section. Olivia, okay, I don't know if you guys watch that YouTube sh um, show called Does the Shoe Fit with like Young Philly and Chunks and stuff like that. And they have like, oh, is it? I think they have Conan on it sometimes and they've had like Jack Fowler, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, so someone said that she was one of the gals that were dating on Does the Shoe Fit. If you haven't watched it, guys, I recommend it. It is hilarious. And she dated Jack Fowler. Now, Olivia looks so different, guys, because I'm going to post a picture here. What? a tan can do for me those are two different girls I, like, I cannot believe that's olivia she looked like casper the ghost there like she looks like she's an emo babe like i just can't believe that's the same girl but anyways that's neither here nor there we see ron and ron is very very happy with lana he's feeling her he's confident about her he's confident in himself and um they're vibing now it's funny because those that are so intense, and that's what for me, I feel like people that are intense are quite scary because the ones that are moving intent are the ones that are moving the maddest. So that's why, guys, we have to keep our eyes open for the ones that want to fall too quickly. Like, I feel two ways about it, but with Ron, we can tell that he just probably falls fast because of the way he he mixes up things um, towards the ending of this episode. Then we see Tom and Olivia speaking and he's saying he's still feeling Lana and how he still wants to get to know her and that Lana is his actual type. I'm confused why Tom picked um, Olivia if Lana is his type. I just don't understand the angle. Um, it's not, it doesn't make sense. Even still, like, I feel like Tom's quite boring. I don't even really think they're vibing. I think it's just, it's just nothing. So this was like a wasted pick. I think it would have been better if he picked Lana because I think Ron would have given more of a reaction. He would have been grafting more. But this one brought around nothing. Like honestly guys, this episode was like, sincerely boring. And I know I'm not asking for drama, but I just didn't care for anything that was really going on for him. So then we see Shaq and Tanya, and he is definitely sticking on her, factor 50. Um, coming on strong, mm, a bit beggy, guys, in my opinion. Like, I go through two ways where I feel like they're cute, I'm happy they're getting to know each other. But then I'm, at the same time, I'm thinking it's a bit much. I don't know, I don't know. And I think maybe I think it's a bit much is because she's not matching his energy, guys. Now, for me, let me be honest, guys. If I'm feeling somebody, I'm not gonna per se do the general norms of dating or whatever. If I'm feeling someone, I'm not saying, I ain't saying what I'm, I'm not saying anything, guys. Just take what I'm saying out of face. I like, don't start making up assumptions. Yeah, I'm saying what I'm saying, and what I'm saying is what I'm saying. But you know what I mean? If you're feeling somebody and you're like, oh, you know, you don't, I don't know, you just, go with the flow whereas with her she's putting up barriers now from yesterday's episode i thought it was because she was trying not to be weak in the knees but now i'm thinking is she feeling him because now he's asked for a sec this is his second time asking for a kiss which is to be fair second time in about two three days is a bit quick it's a bit quick so i have to I have to say that i definitely need to caveat that but at the same time she's just not it doesn't it doesn't feel like she's feeling it and i feel like maybe it's because if they kiss, that's her man. You get what I'm saying, guys? Of course, that's not the case. But if they kiss, now she's kind of locked in. And I don't think she wants to be locked in with him. I don't think she does. Now, I've seen someone in my comment section say it. And I do agree. I do agree. It needs to not be the case where we want to protect Tanya so much that anyone that goes to her, we got something negative to say. But guys, what we need to bear in mind is, even though like we, you know what I mean, Tanya, blah, 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 and of course we wanna see the black girl winning, um, I'm not gonna fake it, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm gonna have to still criticize things as I criticize things. Tom was not feeling her like that, so why would I have wanted her to go there and been his 
you know what I mean? And he, and he would have rode on her coattail. No, I don't want anyone riding on Tanya's coattail. I don't think Shaq is doing that. I actually genuinely, I definitely think he likes her. I think a lot of people just have PTSD. And for me personally, let me just say right now, I'm not, I don't need black love in this season. Like, of course, it's cool if it happens, but I don't require it. Um, I'm still like full and fed from Dami in India. So I don't, people that don't need to be together do not need to be together. I don't care what the color is. They don't need, if they don't need to be together, they don't need to be, I'm not forcing anything. I want whatever situations are going to happen to be organic. That is what I want to see on this show. show. As much as we can see organic, authentic relationships, that is what I want to see. Point blank period. But I don't think she's feeling him. I actually don't think she's feeling him. And then, um, Will wants to talk to Lana um, and he thinks he's gonna like move to her. For me, Will's trying, Sha. He's trying, yeah. Um, even like, later on in the episode, he's doing up like, dress up, he's doing a la 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 party, you know what I mean? They're doing Barbie with him um, and basically trying to pick out his fits. Now, I feel like the guys were clearly not threatened by it. They were more than happy to help him with the situation. Like, it's cute in, like, a pathetic way, guys. Um, I really feel like Will is probably a... Like, not probably. He is a nice guy, and he is sweet. It's just not... This, is, this show is not for him, or this cast is not for him. Um, but he's sweet. He is nice. Um, and then also, he speaks to Lana, and Lana shuts that ish down. Now, I'm proud of him, and I'm happy for him that he went straight for it and was saying that you know what I mean I'm feeling you you're cute da, 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 da. but I'm so happy that Lana locked that one off quickly I know you're supposed to give people a chance but guys for me I do not believe in forced connections if I don't want to off pant from you when I see you it's not happening with me it's just not that's how I go other people can mess with connect with with uh, with energies and stuff like that that's step two step one is looks for me Pers me personally don't fight me that's just my opinion anyways um then harris is speaking and he's saying that he's not really feeling anime and i feel like i can somewhat agree with him anime at least from what we've seen is just there she may have got bits but she just seems there so i haven't really seen much from her and it's giving cardboard now even with um tanya we haven't seen her much as well i know she has a personality but maybe i don't know maybe she's a bit laid back maybe i don't know what it is maybe she's just not a part of the producer's storyline at the moment but there's a lot of people that are just there and not doing anything and it's, it's it doesn't make sense so ha harris seems like someone that is a bit more like you know what i mean guys so and i think yeah, anime just seems super, super chilled, laid back. Like, she probably isn't going up to him and speaking to him or making conversation. So, yeah. And then... But he said he hasn't written that off, so we'll see. That situation off. Um, Tanya and Shaquille... Why do I call him Shaquille? Why, why am I giving him his whole govy? Sorry, Shaq. Sorry. We're in the bed. Even though she was like, I'm going to hold off from kissing you. We have to wait. It's coming soon. And then she ends up kissing him. Now, guys, me personally, I felt like she felt the pressure. Um, I'm not saying he, like, pressurized her in a nasty way, but they were talking about it in bed. He tried to kiss her yesterday. He tried to kiss her today. It was a, it was a bit much, and I think she just gave in. I think she just gave in. Um, I don't know. And again, I, I shouldn't feel like she gave in. I don't think she really likes him like that. I'm not going to lie. I feel like um, Tanya is actually a way bigger flirt, if not player maybe, than I thought. Because the way she's moving, I didn't really expect it from her. But it's, I'm just, I'm just watching with my eyes open. But I didn't really expect it from her. Um, yeah, I just, I just don't think she's feeling him. So I don't think, I don't know why she kissed him. I don't like, for me, there's no pressure. I don't even know why you guys are talking in bed, facing each other. Like, it, the, the optics are just too close. So, me personally, I would have turned back and he would have saw the back of my head. Talk about seeing the back of her, of her head. Where's her bonnet? Where's her bonnet? Like, the scarf is cute, but what about the bonnet for the bundles? Baby, like, I, don't, I know you're in a house full of people that don't have, but babes, we have to, we still have to maintain. You know what I mean? Because for me, I'm not going to South Africa in no lace front. Me, me point blank, people, I'm not going. I'm going with straight braids, which is why I'm getting my braids done. Why am I saying I'm getting my braids done? Guys, I'm doing my own braids next week. Um, and I'm going to do a new colour, but we'll see. We'll see if we like it. But anyways, moving on. So in the morning, the girls are having their chat. The guys are having their chat. Tanya is talking about how 
um what's his face Shaq is was super super excited about the kids I feel like there's even something about him being super super excited that she's just not feeling maybe she feels like he's all over her and I don't know there's just she was like he was so excited mm. he was so excited now but I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Oh yeah, also, going back to Will and Lana's conversation, Will was trying to do mix-up, because he was like, oh, do you think Ron will stay loyal? Doing up mix-up, yeah, doing up mix-up. Will, I see you, we see each other, yeah? We, I see you. Um, Harris and Olivia having conversations, talking about how they ha they're sexually attracted to each other. Guys, I just really deep something for a second, yeah? Okay, Olivia has a necklace on that says 1995, yeah? Hold on, okay, she's 27 and my man is 21, okay. That means he was born in 2001, guys. You think I'm dating someone that was born in the 2000 and anything? Not in this life. Guys, it, I'm sorry, can we just deep it? Like, if he had a matching necklace, his one would say 2001. Huh? Guys, I'm sorry, it's just not giving what it's supposed to have gave, honestly. And I feel like when she was saying, when she was speaking to the girls in the morning that she wasn't, um, she's not a cuddly person, it's really, really intimate. I'm not gonna lie, I could BS when she was saying it anyways, but I just don't think she's actually feeling Tom. I think he's not giving her enough to really bounce off of because she doesn't seem like somebody, not that she's any type of girl, but I don't think she seems like someone that cuddling is a big deal. I'm not saying it's not, but I just don't think she thinks that. But I think she's just not feeling him like that. Him saying that he still likes Lana and that's his type and blonde. She's just not trying to give that energy. Whereas she knows that if she goes back to Harris and same and vice versa, they're going to give each other what they want and keep each other somewhat interested until they actually find the people that they're actually interested in. in. So I think it's mutually beneficial. But I do find Olivia somewhat creepy, guys. And she needs to go where? In the bin. Straight to the bin, guys, because the comments that she was making in that conversation was a bit odd. She was like, Tom is too mature and how Harris is a yappy boy, uh, like dog that she needs to tame. I was like, I know it's, I know she's trying to say cougar, but I don't know, there was something very odd about that. How can someone be too mature? Now, maybe she meant playful, but she said mature. So I gotta go with what she said. I thought that that was really, really weird. You could have even just said he doesn't have to chat, he's boring. There's, way, there's more ways for her to have said maybe what she was meaning, but she said he's too mature. I see why she always wants to date young guys. Like, and she's definitely not serious about being in a relationship because what are you doing? I, I, just, I just don't understand her. I really, really don't understand Olivia at all. Um, I, yeah, I don't want to. It's almost like she, she wants someone that she can somewhat control. I don't know, I don't know. There's just something odd going on there. So then Ron gets a text. Ron is going on a date with Zara, the new girl. And um, Tanya is going on a date with the new guy, David. Now Zara, that girl is extra. Every single time, I, so when she walked in for her intro and then when she walked into the villa, it was the same walk. Now I don't know if she does print modeling or catwalk modeling or stuff like, I love the energy, I love the confidence, it's just a bit extra. Now the baby's got body, yeah? Zara's got body, she's a beautiful girl, I think she's gonna be a fiery character. I'm hoping she brings drama, she said the typical basic, oh, this is Love Island, not Friendship Island, so I'm hoping she stands by that because I feel like Ekansu said something like that similar last year and she really came with it, so I'm hoping, um, Zara comes with it because at this point I don't really know what's going on with this season and I'm not hopeful at all like and it's just crazy we still have eight more weeks of this so her and things will pick up but I just want to see glimmers of it like just tomorrow's episode let me see glimmers of what's supposed to be happening and things picking up um, and then we have David now for me guys I'm not feeling David um I'm not feeling him I don't want to go maybe it's because like I have big lips but I just noticed that he needed Vaseline and guys I don't even want to be that person I don't I don't want to be that person but it was just so obvious and he was licking his lips guys you know when you don't have Vaseline with you but you want to moisturize your lips but then licking it is actually doing the exact opposite but you have to do something that's what he was doing because he wasn't LL Cool J that's what he wasn't trying to do there 
it was and it was just bothering me because i hate seeing people with dry lips and of course me being black i see more on black people because hello 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 so yeah but i'm not i'm not my type um don't really care from his that he's from Essex as well, but he's got a good job. He's got a good job. And Tanya seems to be feeling it. Now, I feel like Tanya is just a big flirt, and I feel like she definitely likes attention, and there's nothing wrong in that. Um, but she's definitely giving him the time of day, and that's fine. But, well, episode three? But this is what gave me the impression that she was ready to lock in, because I feel like they were couples, or they have been couples, that really liked each other and was ready to lock in and she's clearly not ready to do that and she wants to enjoy herself and she wants to live this love and experience and i don't blame her because the people that get locked in quickly they may not be interesting um at least as a good watch i'm ready for people to turn their heads right now yeah because i need some drama so it is what it is um and then ron and zara's day i don't know why some people were saying on twitter like this episode was so boring twitter was even kind of boring as well but that's neither here nor there anyways um I don't know, I saw some people on Twitter saying that I don't. they don't think Ron was feeling it. Ron was feeling Zara. I was like, what are people watching? Because I ain't watching what people, other people are watching. I thought he was feeling her because she's a beautiful girl. She's given energy. And even earlier on, he was saying that he likes um, Lana, but Lana is like more low key, whereas he likes someone that's a bit more fiery, a bit more boom, 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 boom. And Zara definitely gives that type of energy he was describing Lana as cute and Zara was like, I can be cuter. So she's ready to trod on toes and he's feeling the energy. He's feeling the energy because he also is somebody that will fight for somebody. And I think he likes how, like he, she's vocal. So I think he will, she'll make him feel good like actively and he will like be reassured and Whereas Lana, I don't think he maybe gets that from her and that's something that he wants. He wants her, even though, how can you get reassurance after three days? But I don't know, I think he just maybe wants more uh, 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 if that makes sense. And I feel like now people that maybe really, really liked Ron may not like him because he's flip-flopping guys. But that's the thing is, you just can't take some of these people serious when they want to lock in, especially guys, I'm sorry. When they try to lock in early on, you know what I mean? It might not make no sense. Um... Shaq doesn't seem to be threatened by David. Maybe he should because Tanya is definitely entertaining that. And Ron, yeah, he's feeling himself. He is really, really feeling Zara. He said she's a dancer, she's a singer, a swimmer, an engineer, a plumber, a wrestler. He said she's a doctor. Like she does everything, yeah? Zara does everything. And he's talking about how his head's gonna turn. And it's just so funny how he was whining at, in the beginning, talking about, oh yeah, I feel like we're really feeling each other. We're gonna lock in. And this is how you're behaving. Like that, for me, I prefer you to say nothing than for you to do all that talking. Now, in tomorrow's episode, Zara's here talking to Shaq, and no one can't have chat for, Sh for, Sh for Shaq because Tanya's doing the same thing, so he's matching her energy. So no one can't have chat for him, period. And who else is talking? Yeah, David's still talking to Tanya. And, yeah, hopefully there's some things pick up, but we don't know. So, guys, thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's episode. I don't know what time, maybe 12, maybe 1, but y'all will get your video just late tomorrow, so you'll notice. But yeah, I'll see you tomorrow's video. Bye!